Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TK with Dory Scar. TK Radius. Show short. I don't know. Well, that's the official name, though. Well, we want to test him, but I wanted to talk about some anime. So it's been about like four weeks, I believe, since the season started. One, two, three. Yeah, this is the fourth week of anime for the season. Let me show me. Make sure I didn't hit. Okay, I do everything. All right. So. It's been a good batch of anime. This has been a busy season of anime for me personally because I've been watching quite some anime. So we're going to go through the ones that I don't watch it. Ignore the Baruto because Baruto will be going on for forever. That's not a current season. But it still does drop episodes weekly. And... Okay, this one. Ignore this one too because this one been going on since last season. So I said everything else on this list is currently from this season right here. So I mentioned this one. Um, I mentioned this anime, the first video I did about anime this year. Um, and I was like, I saw the manga. I was originally planning to pick up the manga for this anime, cause I've been trying to. I've been reading like a lot of mangas, but I mostly try to get mangas that doesn't have an actual anime to it. Because I don't like to, I don't really want to watch something that has, uh, I don't want to watch anime, hold on, my bad, I was trying to multitask, let me just cut this off real quick, I was trying to multitask, I was on the switch, but I don't like to watch, well, I mean, I don't like to get mangas that have anime for it, because pretty much, I'm just going to be reading the same thing over that's happening on anime, and I prefer not to do that. Unless the anime is on the high ass break, like Dragon Ball Super, I did get some of the mangas for Super because Super has been off air for about what four probably ish years now. I don't know how long it's been, but it's they've been gone for a while. And the new season is coming, I don't know when, but so personally for me when I get manga, I don't want a manga that has a anime series. If it does or if I see one coming I I've seen like about three animes, I mean, my bad, three mangas that has an anime announcement that I was planning on getting. One of them I was super close to getting because it was a good sale going on. I was like, let me go ahead and get this, but I didn't get it though. But they now have an anime series for it that's going to be airing sometime this year. This one I didn't know was going to have a series, but um, this has one. Uh, little, little itty bitty gripes. I'm not going to talk about it though because it's just a personal thing that I wish they didn't do on this uh, series here, but it's called Akayashi Triangle. It's about uh, these two characters. They are they can pretty much see like ghosts, spirits, things of that nature, and he's pretty much been training to uh, exercise uh, evil, malicious uh, spirits and ghosts and all that good stuff. And she's pretty much like a medium. She just she has like strong spiritual energy and things of that nature. She just sees and uh, talks to the friendly ones, but sometimes might have talked with a, a bad evil one. And uh, you'll probably read to this right here. Let's see. But um, pretty much one of the demons tries, I mean, one of the spirits tries to pretty much eat her and take her energy. And he fights off against it, and something happens, and poof. Got some right there. Just the uh, the spirit pretty much changed him into a girl because the demon knew that this girl liked him, and he didn't want them to be doing some uh, uh, maybe not so PG stuff. So that was the whole reason for this demon doing for switching his gender. So now he's living a life as a girl, but he's still exercising demons and things of that nature. It's pretty good so far, as you see. I gave it a seven. As we're going right now, it's two episodes out. Uh, but yeah, so far, I'm I'm enjoying the anime. You can give it a check if y'all want to. That's just a personal anime I'm giving out for y'all that y'all probably can check out. Y'all might be interested in it. I talked about this one before, the Buddy Daddies. Uh, this is about two pretty, they're pretty much like assassin or hitmen, you could say. Uh, they do jobs, of course, bodying or. Yeah, yeah, body in. Mostly body in. I think all the missions are body in people. 
But then they end up. He this character ends up stumbling across the girl, this girl right here, who's looking for her father. Now, not gonna lie, this junk tripped me out because this main character and the person that's supposed to be her father looks exactly alike. I had to look, I had to rewind so many times to look at him and other character, but her, I mean him and the girl, actual dad, supposed to. They look exactly alike. I guess the, the guy here is a little bit darker maybe, but they made this character and her supposed father look way too similar. But, yeah, they take taking care of her, and uh, they're doing their missions and stuff too, but they, she kind of hinders or compromises some of the uh, missions they're doing. But it's a nice, uh, cool anime. Um, They actually went to her mother on the last episode but they he kind of found out how the mother is and things of that nature so uh, they just going to stay being the, the guardians of this little girl here but it's a cool anime cool nice action anime if y'all want to uh, get some action and some slice of life type moments in it we got Don Machi season 4 uh, part 2 so this is a continuation when we had uh Bill was fighting that one creature that respawned in the dungeon that was supposed to kind of like it was kind of like a uh some type of protective of uh, thing it's like a rare anomaly that happens in the dungeon and it it pretty much is a way to to help rebuild the dungeon or something like that it was just some some parts of this anime. I mean, I, I really do enjoy the animated characters and stuff, but this anime, if y'all don't know already, this is an anime set in the adventure fantasy world, but the dungeons is, like, it has game elements, because the dungeon is like a game. The dungeon world respond monsters within a certain amount of time, but they're not in the game. They're not in the game, but... The dungeon works like a video game. Like, it wants to respond in a certain amount of time. You got boss, boss battles, and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm really digging it. Um, Bell and uh, some of his uh, squad mates or his family. Well, his family, because they separate from him right now, but they took out one of the uh, four bosses. Big battle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched that much. Y'all know what y'all what y'all been doing. But that's fire. We got uh, this one right here. This is the uh, one I originally I w actually I think I was automatically kind of interested in it, even though I'm not into that many enemies when they reincarnate a character. It's very few that I actually like if they do it right. Uh, I I made one before. It's like man, you something. This this with the the boy gets reincarnated, and he's he got that girl as his little, as his teacher. And then something happens, and you know the continent. Y'all know what I'm about if y'all watch it. It's I think it's called like Man U or something like that. I forgot the exact name, but it's like on season three right now, I believe. I'm waiting for that to return. This one right here, reborn master. Wait, reborn to master blade from the hero games. It, that the name is kind of. We just gonna go by it. Let's go by the, the Japanese name. You know, Buwo, Karimari, Tame. I'm not probably about to say. It. But anyways, pretty much just reborn as the squire. That's just I'm just gonna shorten it up for y'all. Um, so not a fan of what. I'm not too big of a fan. I usually avoid these. I don't like when they reincarnate a character and they change genders. That's what this happened on this one. So the person, the main character. It was, it was the king, he was dying, but uh, the god is, it's like, you've been, you've, you served so well in your lifetime, and I want to repay you, and pretty much, she asked what his wish was, he wanted to be reincarnated again, he ended up being reincarnated as a girl, the girl character right here, uh, but this character, the main character, she doesn't, she doesn't want to be um treat it specially so like when the character was reborn she knew that she had she knew that 
she could control magic way better and stuff than them, so she would kind of hide it. And they have like this little ritual thing when people get pretty much a, a status placement by the runes they get. So when there was when she was in the getting her, she pretty much she's good at controlling magic and stuff. So she pretty much did something for her to not get a a rune, which is a placement thing. So uh, she's the squire of her uh, or retainer of her friend her childhood friend because she wanted to be on the front line she actually wanted to fight and stuff she don't want to be someone that's being protected like she don't want to live the previous life of being a king you know or like a you know queen i should say in this case it's just a girl character uh so yeah she's she's craving to fight she likes to fight she's like goku like come on let me get a strong point let me let me test my strength like that so uh yeah, pretty cool anime. I'm digging it a lot. That's probably one of my favorites. That's a that's a new anime. That's it. New, new. Hell yeah. Uh, this is a new one right here. This is uh the out the tale of the outcast. I believe that's the proper name. Yeah, tale of the outcast. So this anime is followed with well, the main character. This is a little girl right here. She pretty much she pretty much uh living it as an orphanage, orphanage or uh crook. Or an orphanage, I guess you say. Pretty much, uh, the person that she was with, the father, she's trying to, she's having to beg for food, and eventually he tries to sell her, or he does sell her off to someone. She's she's been selling off other people that's been orphanage, I mean, uh, orphanage before. I think she was just the last person, but she had a special gift that only she knew about. She could see spirits, and she came across this one spirit, which was not able to be seen by not many people because uh, I don't know I forgot why the reason was but pretty much he was shocked this is not just red here character he was shocked that she was able to see him so he being interested because he was tired of being alone pretty much they talked every they talked every night and, uh, and pretty much kind of became closer and stuff other things happen. She ended up forming a pack with him. Now she's traveling the world with him, coming across interesting people and other deities or demons. So that's pretty cool. Episode just came out yesterday for that. Uh, banger right here. It's a banger. Fruit of Evolution season two. I watched this. Uh, I think it was twenty twenty, I believe. Maybe no. I think it was twenty twenty one. My bad. It's twenty twenty three. No, it was like twenty twenty one. I believe this fourth season came out. Revolution. This is a Sakai. Uh, this boy and his classmates get trans. Gets trans. Trans. They go to a different world. Transported, teleported, whatever you want to call it. They end up going to a different world. It's a Sakai. So he ended up going to the other world with his friends. Uh, he was being bullied and stuff before he went to the other world. But he ended up coming across this fruit. It kind of changed his body up a little bit. Cause I think he was originally like a chubby kid. He changed his body up. Uh, he started learning skills, things of that nature. He actually was, he was actually was overpowered, overpowered character at that first season. He had lots of great feats and all this good stuff. He meets this girl character, which turns into a gorilla. Well, her original, her original form is the gorilla. Actually, I think she evolved. I think she had uh, ate a fruit of evolution or something too. I think my bad, but. Uh, Pretty cool anime. Right now in this season, he's at the actual uh, city that the, his friend, the one nice friend, his classmates is at. He hasn't met them yet, but uh, he's teaching at this academy some uh, troublesome students, I guess you would say. But it's going good so far. So definitely recommend checking that out. All the ones I've been showing, I think you should check it out. These are the ones you should check out. I'm just giving y'all a update on what I've been watching, but I think y'all should check these out. Got Tokyo Revengers Season 2. Uh, Takamichi is now back in the past. He's trying to change things up. He's trying to figure out how can he stop things from happening like he's been doing the whole first season. So, he, so that future that he saw at the end of Season 1 doesn't occur. He's trying to change things up a little bit. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. 
You got Tomo Chen, it's a girl. This is a comedy, uh, comedy type, type, like, type anime. Um, she likes him, he likes her too, but I mean, he hasn't. You, they don't make he don't make it obvious. He's been kind of episode to episode. You can see that he actually does like her. He just doesn't ever show it and things of that nature. But she, she likes him. She's been trying to be. Uh, she's been trying to make him see her more as a girl. And stuff of that nature, but it's pretty good. I'm digging the anime. Oh, uh, try again. I just watched the episode right before I recorded this. Try again, Stampede. This anime, uh, it started off pretty interesting. Last episode, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know how the hell that his brother is, whoever the hell he is, how he's using these special powers and shit. I don't know, it's confusing me, but uh. We'll see how the next episode goes. I might end up dropping it because I don't like when crazy shit is happening. They don't really tell me what's how it's occurring. I don't like just seeing crazy stuff. I need like a story. Like how is he like that? And I guess stuff. So. We got Family and Saga season two. Thorfinn is a slave. He's working at a farm. He meets our new main character. He meets our new main character, which is a uh, Avin or Enar. What his name is. So yeah, you know, he meets he meets Thorfinn. He's a slave to. Uh, I actually just wanted to do a review of the first episode, but my audio was messed up, and I just didn't feel like recording it. But yeah, you know, he has a hard life. His mom got killed in front of him. His sister got killed in front of him. He became a slave. Uh, he actually saw Thorfinn's grandfather. I mean, not grandfather, my bad. It was the dude that would tell Thorfinn stories on season one. I was confused. I was so confused. I was like, why are you looking for Thorfinn as a slave for? Because on season one, he was not a slave. He clearly saw Thorfinn working with Asklad, Ashland, or whatever his name is. But, uh, yeah, we end up finding out he's a slave now. Uh, the slave owner isn't a bad person. The slave owner is actually a good person. He actually, uh, he gives people freedom. They just got to, like, work the land. He, like, he has them clear lands. They pretty much, when they get them clear the land, he'll he literally gives them the land after they work and clear up the land. So, uh, interesting. We'll see how it goes. New episode is supposed, supposed to come out a little bit later on. I've been waiting. Netflix has been doing weekly uh, uploads, which is pretty cool now. Can't wait to see the end to do the upload. So, we'll see how it goes. So far, it's, it's going good. I'm enjoying it. But, uh, yeah. That is the animes of this season that I've been watching. Like I said, ignore Baruto because that's not from this season. And this is not from this season either. So, one, two, three, four. Wait, hold on. We got 12. Okay, it's 10. We got 10. 10 from this season I'm watching. I don't have to do the count. It's only Baruto on that one. So, I'm watching 10 animes from the, this current season. I might, I might have to drop one. I might drop that Stampede because that Stampede... That Trigon Stampede, it ain't making no sense. I don't know how the hell the brother is like that. I got these fucking Dr. Octopus magic scientific killer tentacles. I don't know. And here goes to the anime for the winter season, but I'm not rocking with them. I checked out a few other ones too, but I'm not staying with them. This one, I talked about it a while back. I have, I tried to watch it again. I found out why why I wasn't so happy with the first season and why I was so close to dropping it and why I would not watch this season. I tried it out two times. They rambled on way too much trying to explain how this girl is going to cover up the story from people because she could see spirit stuff so she pretty much tried to cover up stories so the spirits do not get discovered. So she they go into deep, deep detail on how the girl is going to cover up the story and all these different, uh, all these different, what's the word? Damn, I can't think of the word, but she pretty much cover up stories. She, yeah, I can't think of it. I can't really, I can't explain because I can't think of the exact word right now. Well, I dropped that in the name. I won't be returning back to it. Too much damn rambling, too much scenarios to talk about. Yeah. 
explain why this happened, why it happened. It's, it's just boring, so I can't get jiggy with it. Some other stuff that I haven't. I checked out this one, but I haven't really actually watched it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm watching 10 hours of uh, Iron Man. This is right here. Tell me what anime you are watching for the winter 2020, the winter 2023 anime season. And, uh, let me know if you're watching the film I'm watching. But anyways, I'm TK. All you guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.